Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can update uh, Takistan Plus on your uh, remote private server, um, the one that's on the internet. Um, also, I'll do a little bit on how you update your local Daisy server, the one you've got running on your local PC, to Takistan. So, what will normally happen? is you'll try and log into your local server or you'll try and log into your remote private server on the web or uh, community server and you'll get this sort of error or you'll get messages from the people who play in your server and it'll say data verification error you're kicked off the game client has a more recent version and this one's pretty obvious it's Takistan plus PBO so we know there's been an update and our server hasn't been updated so we need to do it um, but it's it's fairly easy so let's just uh, shut this down And um, what happens when there's an update to a uh, to a mod? Um, it will get up. It will get downloaded to your PC automatically by Steam. So in this case, we've got Techistan Plus, and also remember there's Dabs Framework as well. And so when you turn on your computer and Steam fires up, it will then download the updates unless you've disabled that. Um, and so what that means is in your version of DayZ on your computer, which will normally be in, say, local disk C, user, username, program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then DayZ, if we go into the workshop folder, this version of Takistan Plus um, will have been updated. In fact, if we go into it, you can look at the dates. So this, this mod kind of came out on the first, and as we can see, there's things that say the second. And in fact, if we go into the mission files, we see that these still say the first. So we know these haven't been updated. In fact, I think I remember seeing a post saying that what's been updated is the weather. So DayZ automatically gets updated, but um, obviously your remote server doesn't get updated unless you've got a posh program to do that. And also your local server doesn't get updated either. Um, so what we want to do is we want to get these updated files up onto the internet up onto our server now in this video i'm kind of assuming that you've kind of you've installed a server either locally or installed installed a circle server or a re remotely and you're familiar with ftp so here we have uh, i've logged into my um ftp client um and i've logged into my server so there it is on the right hand side now if you not quite sure where the workshop files are on your computer it's dead easy to find if you just fire up daisy go to the launcher go to the mods and then you can see there it's got like the updated icon if you click on the little arrow here and click on these three dots and click on open folders in windows explorer just agree not to change anything it'll open up a window and then if you just click in the top you've then got the address so you can then copy that you can go back to your um, FTP gram, paste that in, and that'll take you exactly to the workshop. Um, now, the way that Daisy stores information um, is that it stores it in for for each particular um, map. Um, it stores it inside the the missions file. So, if we go to like offline .takistan plus here, you'll see this folder that says storage one, storage underscore one. So everything's going to be in there about players, locations. Um, buildings all that sort of stuff is there so don't worry you're not going to wipe stuff by update updating the server in this way um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to click on daisy standalone up here click on workshop and then i'm just going to go to techistan plus i'm just going to say upload now this isn't the most um and i'm just going to say yeah overwrite everything this isn't the most efficient way of doing it because I am in fact, you know, uploading everything again over the top. And also this is including the mission files that I'm uploading to my server in the wrong place as well. Because as we know, if you've installed Takistan plus the mission files are within the mod, but you need to put them somewhere else inside the um, uh, in, inside your server. So while that's doing that, what we can do is let's have a quick look at how we would do this to our local server. So Again, there's Daisy. There's my local server. So with my local server, whoop, I could just go into Daisy, go into the workshop, go down to Techistan Plus, copy that, go up to Daisy server. As you can say, there it is, Techistan Plus. Just right-click, paste. As you can say, are you sure? Yeah, replace all these files. 
that's all done and then the other thing we probably want to do is when we go into the mission we're just going to copy the mission file as well just in case they've changed something in there I don't think they have in this particular update but missions paste replace the files and what you should see if we go in here see that storage file is still there um, it hasn't been changed hasn't been deleted so that's still there so let's see how FTP is getting on so it's still chugging along so the other thing we can key up as well is while this is happening if we scroll down to MP missions just click on that we can go into the missions folder here where the offline Techistan plus is and we can just right click upload that as well and that's going to upload the new missions file to our to our server as well and for this particular update and for most updates on uh, mods that's pretty much it sometimes they'll recommend that you uh, uh, start again you know wipe your server but that's quite extreme most of the time it's just checking into your daisy folder on your on your computer and then copying the relevant folders to your local server or uploading them to, to your public server and when they're all uploaded you want to then restart the server so everything starts again then obviously log on and, and double check things um, unfortunately with with lots of mods the, the creators although they do an amazing job making the mods they're not always good at putting um, reasons why they've done the update you know what's happened in them um, so it's always a good idea to, to go onto Steam go to the particular mod and see if there's for example any change notes um, and they may well discuss something um, or they may not um, <laughs> often you'll have to go to the uh, the discord where it is or the uh, the particular author's um, particular author's website or something like that um, but there we go so well done to Site Revenge for uh, creating the Takistan Plus. Well done for uh, Increment Dab for supporting him with Dab's framework. Um, remember, go over to these guys' PayPal's and drop them a few bucks if you enjoy the map and, and you use it on your servers um, because it is pretty cool indeed. So there we go. I think, yeah, we're all done. So it's uploaded all the differences. We've got all the things in place. All we need to do now is restart our server however that might be so if you're on your trino you just go to the web interface hit restart and then you'll be good to go and you'll be good to uh, play the updated version of takistan plus in this case or whatever mod you're you're hoping to update right hopefully that was useful if it was hit like on similar same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon